Who wants some dessert? Today on the blog, I'll be sharing something a little different than what you're used to. It's not exactly a DIY. This is the recipe to one of my favorite childhood desserts, a thin layered pastry cake with fluffy meringue and a cream cheese frosting to balance out all that sweetness. I'll add a link in the description to the full recipe and photo instructions. Okay, to begin, grade one and a half sticks of margarine and one and a half sticks of butter. Then separate three eggs and add the yolks to your grated butter. Set your egg whites aside, you'll need them later. Following that, add three tablespoons of sour cream and one teaspoon of baking soda. And add a teaspoon of white vinegar on top of your baking soda. Following that, add in your flour and mix it with your spoon. Once it gets clumpy, use your hands to net it into an even ball. Okay, to make your meringue, mix your three egg whites for about 30 seconds. They should fluff right up. Remember, your bowl needs to be completely dry and you should have no egg yolks in your egg whites at all in order for this to work. Then, add 3 fourths cup of sugar to it. Mix for an additional 8 to 10 minutes until the mixture becomes stiff. You'll know your meringue is ready when it doesn't move if you flip your bowl upside down. Okay, following that, chop your pecans or walnuts. Prep your foil by folding it and creating a double layered sheet. Cut your dough into even sections and set it into your bowl. You should get about eight sections. Sprinkle your foil sheet with flour and roll out your dough. It should be about one fourth of an inch in thickness. Once it's big enough, lay your dinner plate over it and lightly cut off your pastry dough without cutting through your foil. Remove your plate and apply a thin layer of meringue. Then sprinkle it with some walnuts and bake for about 14 minutes on 350 um, on the middle rack. To make your frosting, mix two packages of cream cheese first. Then add 16 ounces of Cool Whip. It should become really stiff. Following that, add one third can of condensed milk and mix it for an additional three minutes. And that's it. You can add your frosting to each layer with a spoon or use a piping bag. And you can eat this cake right away. No need to wait for it to set. I hope you like this recipe. Let me know if you make this cake and what you think of it. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you are brand new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. Okay then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.